All right. Don't you love the 2024 ad war? I do. We've some, seen some real stunners, awesome ads, and some real, real doozy stinkers. So each week of the campaign, we're dissecting them, Republican, Democrat, and then we issue our own angle report card. Joining me now, Terry Schilling, president of the American Principles Project. Terry, um, good to see you tonight. Let's start with um, Trump. I mean, this ad uh, it's called Unbelievable is airing on this network and he uses Kamala's record against her. Watch. He murdered a father of three, sentenced to life in prison. Kamala Harris pushed to use tax dollars to pay for his sex change. I made sure that they changed the policy so that every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's agenda is they them, not you. Terry, your grade. A plus. That Man, closing line, Laura, is so powerful. It's so accurate. And this ad is it's just so powerful because it takes advantage of the Democrats extremism. It makes them look crazy, but it also makes them look dangerous. A plus. Well, the, the trans issue is, is very powerful. It's not in the top five issues, but it just kind of sets the tone of what their real priorities are. Now, Kamala's ad is also airing on this network and across battleground states. Check it out. In 2016, Donald Trump said he would choose only the best people to work in his White House. Now those people have a warning for America. Trump is not fit to be president again. Take it from the people who knew him best. Donald Trump is too big a risk for America. Terry, I don't know if anyone knows who those people are, but you're great. I give that one a D plus. Uh, this is obviously uh, targeting Democrat uh, voters, and, but these are people that are not credible and not in well favor uh, with Republicans. And it's all swamp creatures, right? So it's a D plus. It's not going to move any voters. Yeah. And to me, it's just the establishment hates Trump. Wait, what else is new? How is that new? Uh, none of it's new. Um, <laughs> then in Minnesota, Terry, there's a Republican candidate. Joe Tayrob is literally running for Congress. The son of an African immigrant, I've always loved America. So I joined the Marines and deployed to Iraq. Then I served as a federal prosecutor, locking up Minnesota's worst criminals. Now I'm running for U.S. Congress because career politicians like Angie Craig are killing the American dream. All right. Running and talking, talking and running. You're at your uh, uh, Laura, I give this. I give it an A. It's, this is a perfect way to introduce yourself to voters who aren't that familiar with you. Uh, it's a great <laughs> ad. It talk, and it also ties him to uh, prosecuting crime, which is very important uh, in Minnesota. Yeah, well, it's, it, it catches your attention, that's for sure. Now, Kamala's dedication, full display in this Trump ad. Watch. Joe Biden and I are about to get rid of that tax bill. And on day one, I will repeal that tax bill. We've got to increase the corporate tax. Right. Part of that is going to be about repealing that tax bill that they just passed. And also looking at estate taxes are going to have to go up. We will tax capital gains. I mean, she's just going to tax you up the wazoo. That's a pretty simple message, Terry. What do you give it? I give that an A, Laura. It, it tells people that she's going to raise their taxes when they're already being taxed by inflation. An A. All right, Terry, thank you so much as always.